Welcome to this exciting program where you are going to meet a Christian couple who have grown up in the church. But a half year ago about there, the man, he was unfaithful to his wife and they decided in the end to get divorced. But what happened then? They had signed under the divorce paper. They were ready to get divorced. But then they got born again. Yeah, they have grown up in the church, they have lived in the church, they have experienced many things, but they are not truly born again. And when they experience the power of God, the forgiveness, God put them together as a family again. And now they have an amazing testimony you are going to hear today. So I would say welcome, and what we are going to do, we are just going to start right away with hearing Simon and Mars' testimony, because you have an amazing testimony. Welcome here. Thank you. Uh, but let people understand some of the journey, what you have experienced the last half year, year, so they really can get a feeling of who you are, because mm. it's amazing what God is doing. Yeah. We have been uh, grown up uh, in a church, and uh, we have... Um, been married for um, 10 years and um, we have lived a normal uh, marriage uh, like every other people um, and uh, the way is going up and down and and yeah uh, it's okay and and yeah we can live with that but uh, from a half year ago we um, uh, I should start on the school and uh, I knew it will be tough for us, because uh, there was a lot of girls, and um, yeah, I have been easy to talk to girls. Uh, so I said to my wife, uh, "We have to fight together uh, and uh, stand up it." Uh, and um, and when it was the last uh, part of the month, uh, I said uh, no inside myself, no to my uh, my marriage, and um, and. Three days after, uh, there was a new girl starting on the school, and um, yeah, it began to be very exciting, and uh, it's get more and more exciting, and it will be it goes very, very bad uh, in our home. Yeah, the time went on, and he uh, got more involved yeah. in this uh, relationship that he yeah. had, um, and. Uh, we got uh, further f and further apart from each other. So you have some problems before. We had some problems before. But, and but not like you have been unfaithful and done a lot of things. No, uh, no, not not, like not the the real. Not yeah. the real unfaithful. unfaithful. Yeah. But you had okay. some difficulties with, with your with relationship. Yeah, with, with girls. Girls. But yeah. but now you started school and and you decide like no, I don't want this marriage anymore. Mm -hmm. And then as soon as you decided mm -hmm. that, another woman came yeah. into yes. the class. Yeah. Another. Yeah. Yeah. and and um, it was the uh, first was difficult because I say no 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 uh, it it's not gonna gonna be love uh, it's yeah I I step a step away from it but sooner we get uh, very uh, bad at home and then then I go to the other woman and um, and <laughs> she get a uh, very. Uh, exciting and we talk a lot and uh, we connected very much uh, and there was uh, the things I miss with you uh, was the other girl uh, giving me uh, mm. so so it was easy for me to to go over to the other woman uh, mm. and, and uh, get my uh, yeah what yeah, you need you need yeah, yeah. So, um, but you came in the church. You are a believer. Yeah, yeah. I came. What about that? Yeah, I came in the church and I sing gospel. Uh, okay. And uh, there was one time I stand in the church, and there was another man. He uh, he said, uh, "I had a word from God. Uh, you stand in the darkness, and uh, you open open the door, and you will see the light." And. Uh, the only thing I was thinking of that uh, that was the only uh, the other woman, uh, mm. so I knew it was from God that I have to find another woman. You felt that the you darkness that was at home. home. Yeah, 
and you had to step out yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, in the darkness yeah. with the yeah. other one, and uh, in the light. Yeah. Yeah. And it's so crazy that you can take a word mm. and so misuse it against God yeah. and suddenly have that idea that is mm. really God speaking to you. Mm. Yeah. And you had three kids also yeah. like under eight years old. Mm. Yeah. And, and okay, God is speaking to me now, leave my wife, leave my three kids, mm. yeah. and then go together with that woman. Mm. Yeah. But but you what about the whole word of God? You didn't think about that at that time. What the word of God was saying about <laughs> no. divorce no, no. and remarriage and so on. It 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 was straight to me. Okay. I think it was straight to me that he yeah. said that because I was standing and singing and and suddenly he said it. Hey, it's a word from God. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And and I was so sure that it was to me yeah. that he said it. Um, so so I was very sure that it was from God to me. Um, and God had another plan for me yeah. to to be with the, the other woman. Yeah. So that is another example on that we need to try everything by the word of God. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We need to test the spirit. We need yeah. to yeah. see if that line up with the word yeah. of God. And if it don't do, then throw it away. Yeah, throw it away. <laughs> okay. But but you thought it was God, and then you decided to be with that woman. Yeah. Yeah. Then uh, you were. Talking to uh, a so, uh, marriage counselor. Yeah. Okay. You talk with a marriage counselor yeah. about yeah. this. Um, um, uh, she asked me if I would come and visit her, and uh, uh. because he had something that he needed to uh, to tell me, and I uh. thought, yeah, well, it's okay. I can talk to her, but uh. I had, I felt that I had decided what I wanted to do because I could see that he didn't want me, and uh. I didn't want to fight alone in this yeah. marriage. Yeah. So I had decided to uh, to leave uh, with the children and move into an apartment. I just yeah. needed to find it first. Yeah. But then I went to her and uh, she told me her testimony uh, and it, it was an, exactly what I was experiencing. Yeah, because she had experience she has, on she had faithfulness in the yeah, family. The and same yeah. thing. Forgiveness and all together again. Yeah, yeah. and she... She just gave me hope because they yeah. had have still have an incredible um, uh, marriage, yeah. and I just thought, wow, if God can do that for her and yeah. her husband, she uh, then God can do it for us yeah. also. Yeah. So um, I um, I phoned Simon and I uh, I told him that uh, I still love you and I'm gonna fight for this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then then it is then I come home and I was. Yeah, you know, happy because she got an apartment, and then it will go easy. You thought you yeah, thought yeah, it would yeah, go easy. Uh, yeah, you already that ma- and yeah. in your mind at that time said yeah. goodbye. Goodbye. And you come home, and suddenly yeah. you experience she loves you and wants you. Yeah. yeah, and then it was whoa, whoa, oh, no. what happened here? Uh, yeah. And it was a fight in me, and, uh, and and that was very strange because I have never uh, experienced that before. Um, yeah. But uh, after Christmas, uh, I moved to an apartment by myself, and uh, I'm not moving there alone. Uh, she, the other woman, was moving together with me. Yeah. Um, she was just getting divorced at herself, okay. so um, so we have the life, be- and we talk about uh, everything, and uh, yeah, we have big plans because I knew it was from God, so I have to. <laughs> Yeah. To, yeah, um, to to talk to her and and find the new uh, marriage. Did, from did her. you tell her that you believe it was from God or? No, no. no you keep it in yourself. Yeah, yeah, I keep it in myself. But but I told him that I was a Christian. Yeah. Uh, and she said it was, was okay. And sometimes yeah. she she stopped uh, saying bad things and she said, oh you oh sorry and. Yeah. And I think it always was from God, and I yeah. was so happy uh, that she really wants to uh, learn something about yeah. God and yeah. say it was okay yeah. to you can go to church with yeah. your children. Yeah. Um, but we were living to uh, living together. No, not leaving. Uh, we living were together. living together, yeah. and um, and uh, yeah. And it was over. I heard it was over New Year and Christmas. Yeah, mm-hmm. and it was hard for you. It was really hard for me yeah. um, in in the beginning of uh, December when I had talked to the marriage counselor. She told me that I should pray for him, mm-hmm. uh, so I did, and uh, and I also prayed God for uh, for His love. So 
so that uh, God would help me to love him. Yeah. And, um, and he did. He gave me his love. Yeah. So I became... Um, uh, uh, I had the, uh, like the first, first love, love yeah. for him. And it was very crazy because he still said, I don't want you. It's not yeah. you I love. Yeah. It's yeah. her. And, um, but I still felt that I was in love yeah. with him. And then suddenly it just, uh, it was too much for me because he just kept pushing me away. Yeah. And, um, and I had to uh, pray to God again and said, please take the love away. And, and so that, uh, God did. Um, and, and I just went totally cold. I had no love for Simon anymore. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and I also told him um, the first day of Christmas that if he was going to, uh, die tomorrow I wouldn't care because it was just it would just make my life easier wow. yeah. but we just want to show a little trailer from the pioneer school mm. and we'll be right back mm. and Peter stood up there on Pentecost together with the other disciples and he said bow your head everybody and if anybody wants to receive Jesus you lift your hand yeah I see the hand there and I see the hand there I see the hand there thank you thank you and now pray this prayer just in your heart. And then he said, yes, now you are safe. No. This is what many do today, but it was not what Peter did. What we grow up in is the only truth of what we study because everything we see look like what we are doing is the truth. And we have, of course, smart people around us who who know the Bible much better than us, so because of that, it must be the truth. To be a disciple of Jesus is to live a supernatural spiritual life. Thank you that you're gonna heal her. Try to do it again. The same thing. Look at her face. What is happening? Yes, I yes. Especially. Now the, pain, now the pain is gone. The word of God is very clear. He has commanded us to go out healing the sick. Baptism is more than just a symbol. Baptism is strong, is powerful, and it saves us, set us free from our sins. If you continue in sin, if you live in sin, you don't really know God. But a Christian is somebody who do not continue living in sin because Jesus died from the cross and he did everything that was necessary to take sin away from us. He got then baptized with the Holy Spirit. We also need to get baptized with the Holy Spirit. We read in Book of Acts, everybody starts to speak a new language. If we want to obey Jesus, we need to come out of the box. We need to come out of the church system. And this most symbol of church is love God, love your neighbor, make disciples. Yeah, we are back again. Uh, Man, you came to that point. We heard that in the end, you, the love for Simon was gone. Mm -hmm. and, and you were said almost like, okay, if he's going to die, I'm not going to be sad. Yeah. Uh, what happened then? You gave him a ultimatum, I heard, a, a one more chance or what? Yes, I, um, uh, in January uh, I said to him, okay, now you have to choose. Is, uh. Do you want a life with me or with her? And I, um, and I gave him that ultimatum uh, that there were some uh, conditions that he had to fulfill. He had to quit uh, school that he went in uh, and... Uh, had to uh, drop her, yeah, yeah, and and the contact he had with yeah. girls in January, yeah. Yeah. and he just felt that it was too much to ask. Uh, yeah. Not quitting her or school, but he was uh, afraid that he was gonna um, disappoint me with the girls because yeah. he talked a lot yeah. with girls. Yeah. yeah, and I and I felt that it was uh, for me. Uh, I will be a suicide because when I'm doing one thing, I would be afraid to to hurt her and yeah. uh, so so it was so high for me that I couldn't live up to it. Yeah. Um, so you said no. So I said no yeah. uh, and uh, you uh, 
sent the divorce paper, mm. and yeah. uh, it was a Friday. Mm. And yeah. you did it together. And we did it together. Sat together. And yeah. Yeah. I send it away. Yeah. And, yeah. Yeah. and, and, and thought now it's going to be heavy. We are going to get divorced. Yeah. Everything's going to be beautiful. Yeah. Or what? Yeah. Yeah. yeah it, it, for me, uh, in my uh, thought, I have the happy divorce uh, yeah. in my head, and uh, yeah, we could live uh, under the same. Uh, hive yeah. uh, and be together and oh the children will not feel anything and yeah. it would be happy for them yeah. too yeah. Uh, but but that Friday uh, I wrote to uh, a friend uh, I have been talking to a lot um, and uh, I was hoping that he would say oh I'm so sorry for you and but he wrote that it was the stupid things I ever uh, have done uh, mm-hmm. and it would be so tough for me that I couldn't imagine, mm. um, and I said, "Okay, then, then you don't have to care about me." Huh. And uh, this that weekend, mm. uh, my fa- uh, my parents was there, mm. and uh, we have a from a birthday party from our oldest daughter uh, on the Saturday, mm. and uh, you came up to our house, and uh, something happened there. Uh, Suddenly, I felt that I have been. Um, I have. T- um, you yeah. wanted to be near you, me. Yeah, all the I time. want to be near you, and I want to uh, hug you, and I want to uh, be nice to her. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you couldn't do. Uh, you, yeah, couldn't, you couldn't handle uh, it. Nah, yeah, or, um, he just said that he couldn't quit all the other stuff for yeah. me, and yeah. and then he wanted to uh, be close to me. Yeah. Yeah. It was too weird. Yeah. 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 And then uh, it would be hard, it was like the kids' birthday party, yeah. the yeah. family's we there. To be happy. You're getting yeah. divorced, yeah. and <laughs> he don't want to create that, but he wants yeah. to touch you, yeah. and you yeah. don't want him, and yeah. a lot of things was going on. Yeah. Totally much. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, then Sunday morning, uh, you wrote me a text, text message, and uh, you wrote that uh, I have to uh, give away her. You had to let me go. Yeah, you had to go because mm. either you want to die. Yeah. Uh, and then... I felt that I was going to die inside if you didn't yeah, let me yeah, go. Yeah, yeah. And um, I don't know what happened, but I, I felt that in our uh, first time we were together, we talked a lot in phones. Mm. And then I called her and suddenly I began to cry. Mm. And I couldn't stop. And I said, I want to go back to you and I okay. want you... And then we uh, rode to the, the marriage counselors, marriage counselor, yeah. and mm. um, they came to us and uh, they prayed for us. And I wrote the last message to the other girl, mm. and I said that is the last thing you heard from me. And uh, I quit my number, and yeah, we pray, and and okay, now is now, now is the time. Mm. And I heard something that the marriage counselor said to us, now. Now you have uh, declared war, declared war to the to, devil. To the devil. Yeah. Now yeah. it'll be very much uh, hurt yeah. in the ne- next time. Yeah. And I said, yeah, 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 because I have never felt it. I have never uh, experienced that. Yeah. So, so it was new for me. Uh, spiritual attacks. And yeah, so yeah. On, that way. Uh, yeah, but you are in the middle of it. You have just yeah. been deceived. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, yeah. You, we you, we ha- had no idea that. All that went on in our yeah. life. And no. Satan was behind all yeah. of that. Yeah. Like you said, like, okay, now I'm going to drop you. And two days later, she came yeah. in. And yeah. like Satan had been organizing yeah. everything from the beginning. He from the beginning. Planned, yeah. But yeah. now the war started. Yeah. Yeah. Really so, again. yeah. And um, then Monday, uh, it was a normal day. Uh, we were ba- both home. And uh, you have to go to some work. And um, when you leave the house... I began to cry, mm. and uh, I couldn't stop, and I uh, shout to God, where are you? Hey, where are you? Mm. I have uh, prayed to you and say, I want you, and now you're gone. Where are mm. you? And I wrote to this uh, marriage council, and, um, and I say, I can't do it. It's not the way God will. Uh, God will the other way, and I want go to back to the to the other wife, to the yeah to the other girl, yeah. um, and we wrote some some mails uh, yeah. between us, and um, they say uh, we come 
the next day and we will talk to you. And uh, the next day they came and uh, then they said that, um, that she had uh, she had get something from God that uh, we had to go uh, up to the Jesus Hotel mm-hmm. to, to talk to you. Uh, and uh, I said, yeah, yeah, of course. I don't know you. I don't know anything about uh, the Jesus Hotel. Uh, but I want to begin a new life. Mm-hmm. I want to go away from the old life. And I want, yeah, I want it now. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was so hard that, that yeah. I really want uh, some new things. Yeah. And uh, then uh, Wednesday, uh, it was the first day we have to go up to, to, to you. And, uh, and Wednesday, uh, um, when I come home from, from work, mm. uh, you have uh, write me a mail where they're saying that she was afraid that I go into the other woman. Mm. And suddenly, I get very mad because now I have quit everything and, and then you don't believe in me. So, but can you blame her almost yeah. like <laughs> now? <laughs> okay. So, but, uh, but I could feel that, that, um, that we are going in, in battle now. We are very angry uh, each other, uh, each other yeah. and, um, and suddenly I said, okay. I go, I go out uh, and uh, do something out, and you uh, take the children and uh, get them to sleep. And then I came in, and then I took my uh, my clothes, uh, my training clothes, and uh, I said, I'm going to training. And then you came in, I came out to the door and said, No, no, you're not. You're going into the other woman. And then I said, Yeah, yeah. I sh- probably will. And suddenly I could feel that... Oh, the that battle was, was there. Yeah, the battle was yeah. there. And, and you, you had decided to come to me the day after. Yeah. And it was the day before. It was the, the day before, yeah. yeah. And uh, I drive over to the some friends and I sit in my car and I could feel the battle. I could feel that, ah, oh, come on, God, where are you? Send them out to me, come on, come on. Even I drive into her and, and come on, come on, and and they came out and uh, I go into them and uh, I went back to you. And uh, Thursday morning, uh, me and my friend uh, drive up here to mm. Jesus Hotel mm. and um, we have to talk to you. And uh, I want to say that when when uh, the <coughs> memory counselor he contacted me about you the day mm. before he. He, he contacted me and said, hey, Tom, we have a problem mm-hmm. here. Can you help us? Yeah. We have a couple here who, where he had been, his wife unfaithful yeah. and been living with another woman for one and a half months. Now he wants to come back to his wife and she wants to forgive him in many ways. They have signed on the divorce paper, but they're open for it. But he feels he's so bound to that other woman. He cannot. And where is God? And he's crying to God. Mm-hmm. And where is God? And everything was just a mess. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, and he said that to me, and, and I asked, are they born again? Mm. And he said, yeah, they have come into church the whole mm. life. Yeah. And I said, it was not what I asked, mm. are they born again? Mm. Yeah, they have been in church, they have been working with worship and Sunday school, and they have been on high, uh, Bible school, they have mm. everything. This is not what I asked, mm. are they born again? Mm. And then he said, uh, yeah, they are from a Lutheran background. And then I said, come with them. Because already I knew out of what the world was saying, the Bible says the one who do sin yeah. become a slave to sin. Yeah. And that's why we need to get baptized. That's why Jesus came to set us free from slavery. Yeah. And out of what I heard, just a few words he said, you have not really experienced the freedom of God. I knew that the baptism water, because you are from a Lutheran background, the freedom with the Holy Spirit. And out of those few words, I could already say, okay, of course you are bound to that woman. Yeah. Of course it's hard. Of course you feel God is far away. Why? That man is not born again. Yeah. So when they came with you, I just, I took you like every other person and said, now I just sit down and I explain the gospel, what it's all about. Yeah. And you are not there. I, I didn't know who you were at that time also. So you came, we sat down, I shared the gospel with you. 
talked about sin. Don't hide it. Say what you have done and this is sin and this is what it is. But that was why Jesus came. Yeah. And then we prayed. What happened then? Yeah, then we pray, and uh, we were standing up, and uh, some things in my mind said, Oh, Simon, you are so strong. Your legs is so strong. You can stand here forever. And if God will, he can uh, miss you uh, when you stand up. Hmm. So you can stand here forever. And uh, that was the thought in my mind. Uh, so while I was praying, God really taught him, set him free. And yeah. I was praying with you. You were thinking, oh, I'm so cool. I can stand here. Yeah, I can stand here. Yeah. And, and if God will is here, he yeah. can, he can uh, uh, touch you, touch you yeah. when I'm standing up. Yeah. And uh, there come another thought in my mind and uh, said, lay down. Lay down from God. And suddenly again, the thought comes. Uh, Oh, you have to. So strong legs and you can stand here forever. Um, and that was the next thought. Uh, it was, oh, that's a, that's some... Um, you, you're proud or something. Yeah, like you're that. proud. And, and But what's happened here? Yeah. I, if, if I got really uh, for me because nothing happened. Where is it? Uh, there's nothing happening. Uh, and I feel guilty because my friend has... Take a day off and... Uh, okay. So you thought it was a bad idea now? Yeah. I was standing praying, nothing was happening, and your friend drove you there. Yeah. And everything was just nothing. Yeah. Mm. yeah. And suddenly there comes a mind in my head that, uh, lay down. It's not you that have to be strong now. Let God be strong. And I do that. I lay down on the floor, and uh, I have never experienced some things uh, like this before. Uh, I really was shaking in my body, and uh, everything was ah. Uh, I couldn't, couldn't. I didn't know what happened. Uh, I was letting down, and something was burning my pocket. And I took my phone off and threw it away. And then my hands get out, and I lay on the, on the ground uh, like a cross. And um, I get some picture in my head that I was standing on the ground and I look up on Jesus on the cross and uh, I throw all my sin up to him and I go again and fill my fill my with sin and I throw it up to him again. I can see the pain. So you continue singing yeah. and just singing and throw it up and yeah. singing and throwing up. And so I you could, caused him that pain. Yeah, I yeah. could see it in his eyes that I, I really caused him pain and what have I done to him? What have I done? He have, God have given him the, his only son because yeah. I could got free, but I'm nothing doing, do nothing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and uh, suddenly I shout, set me free, set me free. Um, and then you come and pray for me that you're free in Jesus' name. And then my fingers was, whoa, my hand is coming out and I feel like I'm falling down the cross. Yeah. And now I could see that it was me that has to be in there on the cross, but Jesus took the place. Mm. And uh, it, it gets so strong for me that I have to change my life. Mm. I have to change my life because he's really do it. Yeah. And I, I can say it, it was really strong. I have a picture I want to show you out there because when uh, I prayed, I, I, don't, I didn't know all of the things with your thoughts, what was going on yeah. inside of you. But suddenly he kneeled down, like, lay down on the floor, was laying with the arms out like that. And I heard you were praying and you were also praying for your wife and asked yeah. forgiveness. And, and it was really strong. And then your arms came up like this and, and you started to speak in tongues. You got baptized with the Holy Spirit there yeah. on the floor. And, and while Simon was laying down there on the floor, I took a picture of him and I want to show you that picture. And here we have a picture where he's laying there on the floor. And I took this picture and I sent it that picture because he lo lay a long time, like a mm. half hour, hour or something like that. And I took that picture and sent it to the Mary counselor. And I wrote this in an SMS. Simon is now on the floor and speaking in tongues, smiley. <laughs> Our new man is soon getting baptized. Mm. Smiley, 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 smiley. Mm. And, and it was really strong because uh, the Mary Counselor, they wrote right away back, like, amazing, whoa, God is good. 
What I did not know was that they took that picture and my text message and sent it to Maren. Mm. And short time after, I heard from the marriage counselor, Maren would also like to meet you now. Yeah. Uh, and I wrote, okay, nice. I would just talk with Simon when he came to himself. So you came to yourself after a short time yeah. and we... Uh, and you said, ready, you are okay for Maren to come also. Yeah. And we went in and baptized you in yeah. the bathtub here. How yeah. was that? It was amazing because that I feel free. And, and I really uh, see that the old life of me was buried. Uh, and I've never felt it like uh, before. Um, and I was, um, I have uh, butterflies in my stomach. And because I have to see my wife now. Yeah. And it, it, it was a week uh, ago when you had yeah. uh, signed the divorce paper. Yeah. And, and suddenly I, ah, oh, I love her. Love. Yeah. And, and, and I, it was first love and I yeah. couldn't wait. And I was sitting in the, the chair and, and there comes the car. Oh, oh, is it her? Yeah. Is it her? And I, could, I couldn't sit still. Yeah. Um, and I was sitting beside Simon there in the chair, in the sofa. And, no, it's not her, it's not her, and like a newly, new love, yeah. uh, f- falling in love. He was sitting with that butterfly in the stomach, when yeah. is she coming? And then the car came, yeah. then you came. Yeah. And I went up to greet you and say hello, and I came in with, with, uh, with you, and Simon was there, and as soon as you saw her, you gave him a big hug and kiss, and you looked at me like, what have you done with my husband? <laughs> like, yeah. what is happening here? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It was really amazing, and... Uh, and uh, I was I was breathtaking because wow my husband really looks at me like yeah. he's in love with me. Yeah. I haven't seen that in many years. Many yeah. years, yeah. 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 amazing. <laughs> and and then uh, we we gave you time just to be together. Mm. And then the day after uh, we took Simon, we took mm. you out on the street yeah. mm. in Olbor to get kickstarted and mm. pray for people. Yeah. And you saw people get healed, and you have seen amazing things since that. Yeah. Whilst he was out on the street, yeah. it was your turn. Mm. And I did the same with, with you as I did with Simon, mm. just went through the gospel. Didn't mm. care that you have grown up in a church and you have been in church whole, your whole life. Mm. Because many people in church are really not born again. Many mm. people really don't know the gospel. So I just took you through the gospel. And I remember after I shared the gospel with you, I, I asked you about baptism, water, and Holy Spirit. And you are not like, ah, no, <laughs> why? Because I'm baptized as a baby in the Lutheran church, and what about that? But, but it still worked in you because you saw the change in Simon. Yeah. Yeah. And then we prayed, what happened? Yeah, um, you, told, you asked me what uh, we were going to pray about, and I, uh, I, I could feel that I needed, uh, I needed uh, to have... Uh, a new forgiveness uh, for Simon and mm. that God would take away all the things that had uh, 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 you pulled down. me yeah. down. Yeah. And, um, um, and you started uh, praying for me and, uh, and I stood there also as Simon and felt, oh, nothing is happening. Oh, yeah. it's embarrassing. Yeah. Um, but you kept on praying and, um, and, Suddenly, I had the feeling I want to knee down, yeah. and I knee down. And um, uh, while I was there on my knees, I could feel this burden being lifted away from me, um, like God was taking all this uh, pain inside of me away from me. Yeah. And I felt more and more free of it. Yeah. Um, and then I could feel a strong urge just to lay totally down and be humble before God. And, and I just felt, God, I want to be your uh, servant. I want yeah. you to yeah. use me what you want uh, to use me for. Uh, and I just felt an enormous joy and peace inside of me. And... It was uh, it was amazing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And I know at one time our prayers were baptized of the Holy Spirit, yeah. but there was a fight going on yeah. inside of you, and and you got set free from some deliverance. Yeah. And then you spoke in tongues, yeah. and and it was just strong. Yeah, it was really strong, yeah. and also because I, 
uh, I haven't been taught that that it was for everyone who yeah. had the Holy Spirit. So, yeah. wow, it's also for me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it was really. Uh, and, and while you were there, while Man was there on the floor, I took a picture of her because mm-hmm. you were on the floor like an hour or so, and, and praying, and the prayer of God was here. Mm-hmm. And I took a picture, and I have it here. And he's, this is Man laying on the floor. Mm-hmm. And I took that picture and again sent it to the marriage counselor. Mm-hmm. And I wrote this in a text mm-hmm. message. And now Man is next, mm-hmm. also speaking in tongues mm-hmm. now, and have been on the floor for an hour. Whoa, mm-hmm. exciting what God is doing. Yeah. <laughs> and, they were so, and, and they were like really on fire and wrote yeah. back again, like yeah. first Simon and then Man. And, yeah. and we just saw the power of God. And, mm-hmm. And and then the amazing thing happened because I, when when you came to yourself after that mm. strong experience, mm. I asked you, I ready to get baptized. Yeah, yeah. 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 right away. Yes, yeah. I'm going to get baptized. Yeah. No doubt about yeah. that. Um, and then we decided to wait till Simon came home. Mm. And now I was sitting with you in the sofa. Yeah. And I was sitting beside her. I can't know it was not Simon. I can't yeah. know when is Simon coming. Yeah. And now you had the butterfly in the stomach yeah. ready to meet your husband. Yeah. And it was really so powerful. That experience. And then yeah. Simon came in and Man came yeah. and hug and love. And, yeah. and, 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 and then we went in and baptized you. Yeah. And it was just an amazing day. Yeah, it was. It was so amazing that... Uh, yeah, it so was the new beginning of our really new beginning. And our marriage. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, when you are together now. You yeah. in in that moment you decided to drop the divorce paper. Mm. Yeah. The yeah. whole family are together. Yeah. Uh, you love each other. Yeah. You um, you have experienced the kingdom of God. Yeah. H- how much different it have the last half year been in your life <laughs> when we talk about? God and your marriage and everything. It has been a totally U-turn in our life, in our yeah. spiritual life. Yeah. Um, yeah, most in the spiritual too, because yeah. I've never uh, thought about it. We have never been in ch- teach about there was a spirit. Uh, so yeah, yeah, the spir- whole, spirit whole spirit we knew, but we not knew, that but there was a fight in the spiritual yeah. world. Yeah. Um, and 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 if we are some matter each other and mm. and uh, then and then you can pray yeah. and then it disappeared yeah. and then we get amazing feeling in our side in our side so, so before you you call yourself christian you want the church mm. but before when you experience and every every marriage experience mm. problem like yeah. every yeah. there's always things coming on yeah. Yeah. it's part of being married yeah, yeah. But before, when you start to discuss with each other, you just yeah. run it out there and discuss. But now you yeah. stop up and say, yeah. hey, yeah. This we don't is go not out this yeah. way. Yeah. Come, no. let's pray. Let's yeah. see God. Let's yeah. see that Devin is just trying to uh, yeah. destroy something. Yeah. Yeah. And because of that understanding of the spiritual yeah. world, you can now fight him. Yeah. Yeah. It was yeah. tough in the beginning because there was really a tough uh, fight because the devil was just trying us yeah. each day yeah. each day yeah, yeah. But and our friend yeah. and our friends don't understand us uh, and we have lost uh, some f- friends mm-hmm. and uh, our yeah. church yeah. and uh, it was very very hard yeah. mm-hmm. um, because you, you you got a new marriage yeah. but yeah. you also got uh, you got born again and got yeah. a new relationship with yeah. god and and from a Lutheran background in Denmark and so on, is many don't understand what yeah. the baptism that is no. immersion yeah. on your own faith and the Holy Spirit is being yeah. tongues for everybody. So as soon as you got the new life, you experienced a lot of persecution and you got thrown out of. You stopped the church you were part yeah, of yeah. and yeah. so on. Yeah. They didn't want you to tell the testimony. Yeah. No, so we didn't yeah. felt that it was the place for us because our testimony testimony was a big deal of our life and yeah. if we couldn't share yeah. that in our church yeah. it was not the yeah. right place for us to be but do you want to give it up the life you have with god now we don't want <laughs> no, to give that up no uh, how much no. different can you tell about the life how, how much different mm-hmm. is it the well, relationship and what the you see things now? that we have experienced with the holy spirit now um, is way more than we have experienced our whole life yeah. together. Yeah. Um, uh, God is talking to us through the Holy Spirit, giving us uh, 
um, our children's uh, uh, dreams about yeah. what's gonna happen. Uh, and um, yeah, we take it serious when the yeah. children come. Now we home. know that God is talking yeah. Yeah. to yeah. our children yeah. also. And um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and if we pray, we pray in a different way. Yeah, we yeah. thank Him. Yeah. Thank Him yeah. for it's it's happened. Uh, Thank you, Father. At the that he's faithful. And he's faithful. You know, you yeah. have faith. Yeah. 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 yeah, We know that he's gonna do yeah. this for us because yeah. we're praying what he wants us to pray yeah. because we yeah. are praying about yeah. the things that we read in the Bible. So. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And we, when we read the Bible, yeah. we can see it in our life. Mm. Uh, the things are standing in the Bible. It's yeah. happened in our yeah. life, yeah. and that yeah. is the. Uh, Coolest things I ever have yeah. experienced yeah. that, that yeah. like things yeah. I can read in the Bible yeah. happen in our life. Yeah. It's it's going straight in our yeah. life. I, I want to say that I, I love your testimony. I'm, I've shared Simon and Mark's testimony many places in the world when I'm mm. out. And I think there is uh, many things that is important about your testimony. There is a scary thing though is that we in the church try to mm. disciple people who are not truly born again. Mm. Because that Mary Council has spent a lot of time with you. They have gone a, really done a lot of work mm. for you. Yeah. Yeah. But they came to a, par, uh, to a place where they were like giving up. We, we mm. cannot anymore. Mm. It's, it's, like, it's not working. Mm. But what happened? You came and you really got born again. Mm. We're not talking <laughs> about just praying a sinner prayer. We're not talking about coming in church. Yeah. You have done that for yeah. years. Yeah not talking about worshiping God, you have worshipped mm. God for years, mm. you have had the Bible, you have mm. had religion, yeah. but you're not truly born again. And, and it's really a problem that we in the church try to disciple people who are not truly born again. And, 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 it's, it, and it's so clear what the world is saying, the one who do sin become a slave to sin, but Jesus came to set us free. Yeah. Why is it so many people in the churches today who are getting divorced, who are getting remarried, who are living in sin, because many people in the church today are not born again. And they don't know what the Word of God says. They don't know it's a spiritual battle. Like, like with Simon, mm -hmm. you thought that it was God who spoke to you at yeah. one time in the church, in the church leave yeah. your wife, leave your three kids, and go out and be with her. Mm. And, and, and somehow, if we, it's so easy I met so many people who experienced the same. Oh, I think it's God. I yeah. feel and it seems good. Yeah. And, and we live by feelings and not what the Word of God is saying yeah. and not by the true Holy Spirit. Because the true Holy Spirit will never go against the Word of God. And the Word yeah. of God is clear yeah. when it comes to divorce. The Word of God is really clear when it comes to remarriage. Yeah. You don't find that in the Word of God. Yeah. You don't find an excuse to get divorced and remarried. Mm -hmm. There is not a lot of excuse. Jesus is so radical in his word. Mm -hmm. And we need to come back to the word of God. Mm -hmm. So I would say that I was in England speaking a short time ago to 300 pastors. And I also share your testimony. Because why is it so many pastors and so many leaders and people in the church are frustrated and see there is so much sin? Mm -hmm. Because they are not truly born again. Yeah. But there is hope. Mm -hmm. And you are an example of that hope. You are an example of that. Paul said, I'm not ashamed of the gospel because mm. it's the power of salvation. Mm. The gospel can go in, create a new heart in you toward that sin, mm. go in and create a new heart in you mm. and forgiveness toward Simon. Mm. And now you are together and you fear God, you know the word of God, you love God, you love each other, mm. and there is... Uh, you can trust each other mm. in a new way now yeah. because totally why did way. you live in yeah. sin before? Because you were still a sinner. Yeah. Mm. But now you are forgiven. Now you are so free and you mm. trust him because God is in him. The yeah. Holy Spirit yeah. is working in him. Yeah. And now he do not only sin against you, he sin against God. He don't want to sin yeah. against yeah. God yeah. because he knows God is real. Yeah. Yeah. And so, so I want to say two things. We need to come back to the Word of God in every area, also when it comes to uh, when it comes to divorce and what Jesus is saying. Mm. Uh, marriage is from God; it's between a man and a woman, mm. and it's forever. Yeah. And and then the whole uh, onto one is died. Then you are of course free from that. And then we need to come back to the gospel. Yeah. 
and I love your testimony. Mm. What, what do you want to say to people out there who maybe is in church or not born again or are fond about getting a divorce? Or mm. What do you want to say to people? Man, you can... Um, when I was laying on the floor and uh, Tom was praying for me, I, um, I uh, was reminded that I wanted to have control, but I needed to let go of the control because it was God who, uh, who needed to have the control over me and over my life. So I, when I let go, I felt this peace and this uh, freedom inside of me because now he could take over my life and do with me what he wanted. So if you keep on um, uh, wanting to have control in your life, God is not, um, it's not possible for him to uh, take over your life. So you need to let go of the control. Yeah. Yeah. What do you want to say, Sam? <sighs> I want to say that uh, God is... Uh, not want you to have a bad marriage. He wants to have you, uh, give you an, uh, a normal, wild, cool uh, marriage. Mm. Um, and uh, yeah, I really ex- uh, have uh, that experience that he really gave me a new uh, marriage. And uh, yeah, I love to be my wife. Amazing. Mm. So, uh, and look at them. They are... Uh, uh, so strong testimony of what we are working with mm-hmm. that is the gospel mm-hmm. is the power of Jesus Christ is not only like the Pharisees they change the vessel outside but Jesus go in and change the heart mm-hmm. and I want to say come on let's get this message out there is so many people out there who are not born again in the churches they think they are born again but they're not born again. Yeah. You have to repent for your sins. You have to get baptized to Jesus Christ yeah. with um, immersion on the water where you get set free from sin. Sins mm-hmm. is washed away. Sins is forgiven. And then you receive the Holy Spirit, the power to live the new life. Mm-hmm. This is what we read when Peter stood up. This is what Jesus had been teaching about. This is what the Bible is saying. Mm-hmm. And I want to say, are you for- thinking about getting divorced? Don't go that way. Don't. But don't go into remarriage. Don't mm. go that way because it's going to mess your life up. And I want to still say is, I'm sure that you will be more happy alone with Jesus mm. than going into another marriage mm. and lose him. And uh, so, so I want to say it's radical. It's a radical message, but we need to get this out. And uh, there is a lot of bad news out there of uh, families who are getting destroyed, but you are good testimony of family who are together now and love it. Yeah. So God bless you and look forward to see you next time. Bye bye.